Uh, this is my second tutorial on EagleCAD and today I will show how to add a different package for existing device in a library. This is a DS1307 real-time clock and I already have the PDF package so I will add the small outlined or SO package. The problem with this datasheet is that it does not have information for the uh, SO package. So we will look in Google and we'll just write SO 150 mils and as it is 8 pin so we will just try this. So the first link that is to the linear.com is I believe the best uh, information we can have or there might be other websites but this is pretty much usable and it shows that the pad to pad distance is around 0 0.05 inches and the pad size is 0 0.014 to 0.19 and what else should we get so this is the solder pad that is recommended for this device so the recommended size is 0 0.03 inches and this is the width and the length is around 0. Point, oh sorry so the length is not given here I guess uh, maybe ah, so this is the length and it is 0 0.016 so we will use this information for width this information for length and we can use this for for the pad size but as this is recommended we will just stick to it and this is the device dimension so uh, after designing we can check if our design is correct or not so to add a new package to existing device you're gonna have to first open the library and make a new package so this is DS1307 SO for small outlined create a new package obviously yes so the pad to pad distance is around 0 0.45 inches and we can still use this but I think this is better as this is recommended for solar pad layout so we will just change it to 0. Alright, we can just stick to 0 0.05 inch grid size and we can change our uh, pad size which is 0 0.30 this is width and the length is around 0 0.16 so we will make it around 0 0.18 Ah, so This is the length of the pad. I missed it. And this should be the width of the pad. So this is the pad to pad distance and we can so the thing is we can just keep the grid size to 0 0.05 and make the pad size to 
0 0.45 and 0 0.30 0 0.45 0 0.30 Oh, I'm sorry. Why is that? Uh, sorry. So this is how the pad should look. So we have eight pins. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Uh, before making it, we have to be sure about the alternate grid size and we can make it to 0 0.01 so it is more smooth so we have to check the distance between these two paths or these two lines so it is around 2.79 millimeter which is which is around 0 0.11 inches so the distance between this uh, these two line is minimum 0 0.16 so we have to change it So we can make a group and then move the group. So this is perfect. And then we can just get rid of this. And we can also check the outer dimension from here. So I have the alternate grid set to 0 0.01 so I can touch the edge of this but I think it's it's fine because it is already 0 0.24 and now is the naming part we can name this pad to 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight we can also make the dimension of this package by just clicking dimension and changing the grid size to 0.25 again because 0 0.1 uh, sorry 0 0.1 is yeah very small sometimes bigger makes uh, easier to draw so this is the device this is divide the device how it should look and we can just bring it to center by making a group again and then move group by right clicking so this is it and we can give value and name We can also give the name for this package DS1307SO. And we can obviously change the size of the font by changing the size here. I would select 0 0.024. It is small enough. And we can reposition them. So the only thing that is left is we have to connect the device with the existing DS1307 device. So we have to make new and select this 1307 SO that we have just made. So we have to give a new name DS1307 
1307SO and then we have to connect it. So when you rename the paths, the paths uh, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it will be easier for you to connect. So this is how we connect. So this is the serial number of the pads and this is the serial number of the pins that would connect here or the IO ports. So we can just keep clicking the connect button here. So there is no warning and no errors and so we can say that the device is finally perfect. So this is how we make and add a new package to existing library. So I have planned to uh, make and upload videos weekly so please keep in touch. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.